and I have this. So still on the uh, doll side, fold it into two along the length like that. And I'm going to just make sure they're equal. Then what I'm going to do here, I'm going to be sewing 0 0.5 inch away from the edge, but I'm going to leave a space of one inch or one and a half inch. I'm going to show you. So see what I've done. So you've got this space here between this place and this. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to run my stitches from here up to this place. Then I leave that space. Then the same thing for the other end. So you can see it, I left that space. The next thing you're going to be doing now is, I'm going to shift this a bit. The next thing you're going to be doing now is to turn it outside in. So it's not going to be inside out. So turn it outside in. So you can see what I'm doing. Turn it outside in. But you're not pulling it out you just want to bring this end to match up with this end so locate the seam lines for the two and match the seam lines up so you can see what i have the seam line with the seam line match them up And I'm going to hold down with a pin. And try to match the other ends up. And that's what you have. So the next thing I'm going to be doing now is to sew all the way around. I'm going to sew it from the inside. Okay. Watch me. So just so like 0 0.25 away from the edge. If you can manage 0 0.5, fine. But make sure it's not too close to the edges. Just lock a bit and see the way I'm doing it. So you're not sewing continuously. So you're pausing as you're sewing, making sure you're not holding the four all together. So you're only sewing two pieces together at a time. Remember it's an opening. It's 
going to be really nice. So when you're done, make sure you lock it, you backstitch. So that's what you have. The next thing you're going to do is to locate the space you left before you sew all together. So you're going to turn inside out now, okay? Yeah, it's very simple. Very, very simple. And that's what you have. Okay? 